And what you're saying is that physical matter is an expression of energy and information fields. Your string theory says, if, and forgive me if I'm misinterpreting mm -hmm. it, that these energy and information fields, including gravity and, um, and space-time, are expressions of a single unified field. And then we go to that level, and we have to invoke consciousness as actually something that perturbs that field in order to create what we call physicality. Right. Uh, normally we would say that a rose is a rose is a rose. Uh, that's called objective reality. Uh, Einstein to me, a rose is that. rainbows and sunshine and earth and water and wind and air and the infinite void and the Big Bang all rolled into one. Mm -hmm. And Einstein was wrong in this one. Uh, we measure this every day in the laboratory, that electrons can dance between multiple states. Mm -hmm. And then the question is, well, why can't I dance between multiple <laughs> states? Do I exist in multiple universes? Uh, this is called the many worlds theory, mm -hmm. the theory that the universe constantly splits apart uh, with multiple realities, and that we have decohered. That is, we're no longer vibrating in unison with these other parallel universes. Mm -hmm. And this has a direct impact on string theory, because mm -hmm. string theory has to take a position as to whether or not we have many worlds consciousness. Mm -hmm. And some people think that consciousness may be a part of string theory mm -hmm. in the sense that if there are multiple realities, then who determines this reality? Mm -hmm. Why am I here? Mm -hmm. Why am I a physicist rather than a homeless bum, mm -hmm. right? And that is that this universe has consciousness in it, which may differentiate our universe from all the other possible universes. Or we are not aware of all those other universes if they exist across these wormholes in different dimensions of space and time. Mm -hmm. And for example, this would allow you to resolve the paradoxes of going backwards in time and meeting your teenage mother before you're born. Mm -hmm. She falls in love with you, and then you're in deep doo-doo, right? Mm -hmm. What do you do with this teenage girl who just fell in love with you, right? Mm -hmm. Well, then you might exist to multiple realities. Mm -hmm. uh, your timeline may fork into two rivers. Mm -hmm. The river of time may fork into two rivers, mm -hmm. in which case you have a parallel reality, mm -hmm. and so then you could become a time traveler and not have to worry about causing a time paradox. Mm -hmm. Now this, of course, is still for the future. Sure. Our descendants may one day have this technology. So one day, if somebody knocks on your door and claims to be your great, 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 great granddaughter, mm -hmm. don't slam the door. <laughs> it could be, she could be correct. Yes.